let's talk tape. And we use a lot of tape in the wood shop. This is one of our favorites. Technically, it's called double face tape or double stick tape. I like to call it magic tape. The nice thing about it is that it sticks really well. But it's because that tape itself is very thin, yet has an awful lot of adhesive to it. A little bit different than the carpet tape that has kind of the foam back. We use it for templates and stop blocks. The good news is it sticks really well. Bad news is it sticks really well. So when you're using it, don't get carried away. Don't put tape on everything. You'll never get it off. So in this particular template, you can see that I've added it in just a few places, uh, on each corner and then once in the middle. It's got more than enough holding power. Now you can see it sticks pretty well. I can actually pick it up by just the template alone. And so now here we have one that's affixed. We've used it to complete the uh, route on the outside of this and now trying to get it off. And there's not much on here, but it's tough. So you can use a putty knife like this and just slowly start moving it. And you can kind of feel the tape start to release. If it's a small piece, something you really can't get at, drizzling a little bit of uh, naphtha or mineral spirits or lacquer thinner will help dissolve that adhesive. But again, just a very slow process to get it off and you'll feel it release. And again, you can see there aren't many pieces on here. And though the tape is still on here, you would think that it's really sticky. Please don't use the tape again. I found that the tape can lose something. A little bit of the sawdust keeps that thing from sticking well a second time. So when you're done with your first one and you're ready to transfer this to your next piece, remove any tape that's still on here and apply it fresh. Now you also notice that I use smaller pieces of tape here. The tape does come in different sizes. These are two of the sizes here, but they come in multiple different widths. So depending upon what your application is, you can look for one that better fits it. One of the last things, is these double stick tapes work really well with stop blocks. I use them quite a bit on my miter gauge fence. If I'm making multiple cutoffs, just peeling that back and doing it on here will provide a great way to make those multiple cutoffs. And lastly, if you're looking for a tip on how to get this backer paper off of that double stick tape, you're kind of on your own there. I use a razor knife like this, but I'm sure somebody's got a better method.